Okay, I got a fun one this time on American Air Gun Hunter. I'm in Puerto Rico, outside of San Juan, Puerto Rico, about an hour outside, and uh, we're hunting iguanas. This place is overrun. I saw probably 100, 200 iguanas coming in, these huge ones up in the trees. They're coming into these farms, just banana plantations, mangoes, papayas, uh, pumpkins, and they just shred. They do so much damage here, and the farmers want us to take out as many as we possibly can. Um, and uh, I, I don't like the idea of coming out and just shooting reptiles, but iguanas are non-indigenous in Puerto Rico, and there is a population explosion. We've seen literally hundreds up in the trees as we're coming through, big ones, and they're causing a lot of financial damage to the farmers out here. Uh, they've tried different ways of capturing, of, of moving them out, but th they just can't handle them. So we're going to see what we can do with the population. This might be a really good air gun hunting opportunity if they ever get it organized to be able to come to Puerto Rico and go after iguanas. We're going to get these, we're going to eat them too, and I'll be showing some footage of that a little bit later. Um, but we're going to go out, we're going to collect these iguanas. Uh, they go anywhere from about, you know, from small ones, uh, foot, foot and a half long, up to five feet, um, weighing up to 20, 25 pounds. They lay up to three clutches of eggs with up to 70 eggs a year. So you can see the kind of potential for exponential growth that just could be explosive. So the guns I'm going to use are the, uh, I'm going to be using the Hatsons in 30 caliber, uh, both the 30 and the 357 and the Carnivore. I think they're going to be ideal. I'm going to try also some stuff with the 22. The locals that go out and shoot them, they're using spring piston air guns. And as a matter of fact, uh, Hatson has a model that they sell here in Puerto Rico. They call the Iguana Killer. Uh, that's, that's the main use of this gun. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll bring some, some fast action to you. Okay, good. Keep on. Uh -huh. Get the one right behind him now. Step on him. Uh -huh. I've been using a few different guns on this trip. Right now I'm using the Hatson AT44 and 22, and I'm shooting the H&N Predator Extreme Pellets, and 
I've been out here with 30s and 35 calibers, but I'm just really blown away by how well this 22 is working. The combination of this rifle with this pellet. This is a big iguana. Shot about uh, 40, 45 yards uh, out of a, a tree, and uh, this gun has been uh, really doing the job. One of the things I like about it: trajectory is flatter, and I've got to work through a lot of branches and twigs in here. And uh, having that flat trajectory makes it simpler for me to estimate where the pellet's going to hit. Um, you know, I've been hitting a lot of tree branches in the way where I thought I had a perfect, uh, perfect shot. But uh, this is typical of what we're pulling out of here. There are uh, an estimated there's an estimated population of eight million iguanas in Puerto Rico, and with four million people, people are number two to one. And uh, these things lay multiple clutches in the year, and um, they're becoming a real nuisance. There's no natural predator except guys with air guns uh, out here. So. Uh, this is uh, really cool, and one of the, the things I like about this, it's a pest species, it's invasive, they need to get rid of them, but it's one that you can eat, and we're going to do that later tonight. are monsters. That is probably 30 pounds of iguana. Good iguana also oh. inside. Right. It's very delicious. And we will have the iguana if you look at it, <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not. Okay. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Everybody sit down on the table.